you look around and some people think, well, it's just nettles and brambles. But actually, nettles and brambles are really good for wildlife, and wildlife likes it messy. At Sanctuary, we love working with our customers and community partners to improve neighbourhoods across the UK. In the Woodmancote area of Worcester, we've transformed an overgrown patch of Sanctuary's land into a space for everyone of all ages. We talked to communities, asked them what they wanted to do with this area of Woodmancote. It was very wild at the time and actually we still would like to leave some of it wild because it's really good for wildlife. Now the neighbouring school and local residents have come up with eco-friendly plans for the site. Okay, my name's Cecily, I live locally um, to here. Uh, I've brought along these bird nests and bug houses. I love wildlife and obviously to see wildlife come back and to see something like this is absolutely amazing. Uh, the Wildlife Trust got involved with uh, Quanham Primary School which is actually just behind us, their field backs onto here. The children came out and had a look around and helped with some uh, wildflower seeds uh, planting and some bulb planting. So the children have been looking at whether we could build some bug hotels, maybe put some log piles, something called a stumpery which is really good for beetles, anything to increase the diversity of the space that's available. Wooden planters funded by Sanctuary and made by Men's Shed Worcester are another new feature created for the community to use. They're absolutely brilliant for people like myself who has disabilities, who can't sort of bend down or do that much manual sort of work. To care for the site, residents and partners are coming together at regular litter picks, which also help with feelings of loneliness and isolation. Yeah, I'll be definitely visiting again to see how this develops and on from there and if I can actually help out as well. Uh, have disabilities but obviously I can get round those. <laughs>